We last went on our search for the sarcophagus in the museum, but turns out it was for nothing. The Cory mothers are my name perturbedly. I spent most of my youth in the entertainment industry. Yeah, I ain't guarded the sets for over six top ten TV shows. Ah. We will converse in the moons later night. Alright. Penthouse again. I think he's going to be disappointed in our news. If I could, I would attack you. folly of leadership is knowing that no matter what you do, behind your back there's hundreds, certain that their own solution is the sound one. And that your decision was the byproduct of a whimsical dart toss. I pronounced the blast I don't know what you're talking and about. I soak the critical fallout. I make the decisions no one else will. Leadership. I wear the albatross and a bullseye. Hmm, what's my part? Oh, what troubles you? And the jester's hat. Don't forget that. No, you wear the pants in this family. The city, she adores you. I've had my fill of sycophants. I need adjutants I can trust. Hmm. Boss. Hmm. Where's my part? Oh, what trouble? The you? blood hunt on Nines Rodriguez for the murder of Alistair Grout will be called. Rodriguez's execution is only a matter of time. I have lit the fuse. If a war ignites, it's my head that will sharpen the pikes for. Now to the matter of the sarcophagus. Do you need assistance bringing it up? It was stolen. Or never there at all. Stolen? Uh Treasonous maggot. I should have anticipated your treachery, sewer rat. Me too. This name means nothing. The Nosferatu primogen. The Nosferatu were responsible for finding out where the sarcophagus was taken after the Dane, and for getting keys to the museum. They were the only ones who knew. It's obvious to me now. The Nos... I want him found. I want him... found. Not dead. The sarcophagus could be... exploited. Causing who knows what catastrophe to this city. If it were to fall into the wrong hands... First a dead man, then an old box, and now Gary. It's like a scavenger hunt. What's it worth to you? You will find the sarcophagus. Because I already entrusted its retrieval to you before. And you failed to bring it back, did you not? Was it my fault? The Nosferatu lurk in the filth below the streets of Hollywood. But not even I know just where they hide. Hollywood is, unfortunately, lacking in any Camarilla loyalties. Hollywood's baron is an Anarch named Isaac. Oops. Isaac's more civil than the Anarchs downtown, but... Nonetheless, he wears his mistrust He may know how to contact the Nosferatu. Find Gary and get him to talk. That sarcophagus could be used against us. Do not come back until you have it. Now, I must announce the blood hunt. Don't. And bear the brunt of all consequences. Escort her out. Uh. You don't have to do that. But Mr. LaCroix, he told me not to let anybody up right now. He sounded kind of PO'd. Must be all the late nights he's working. Anyhow, I can't let you go see him right now. Sorry. 
I have words that must find him before the hour dies. Mr. LaCroix was real specific. And maybe if you come back later, you'll calm down. He seems to be all tore up about that sarcophagus got stolen from the museum. <laughs> must be a real history lover. You will see my face again. I'm not supposed to open the doors for anyone. Sorry there, Missy. Well, I can leave the city pretty much. So before I do, I'm going to go back to Club Confession so I can get my money that I should be paid because that's something we worked out a deal since I helped Venus. Oh, nice. Yes, zip up, sir. Yes. Richie. Okay. Mm -hmm. Money, right? Been a while. Your money's right. been piling up. Here, that should provide for an interesting evening. 625. Nice. Your blessing is your blessing is always appreciated. Let's go back to our apartment first, and then uh, uh, check our email. That's something I haven't done in a while. Maybe rewards too. Nobody to fall asleep next to. Go ahead and the radio. Ah, Lily's here. See what she says. I went fishing today and I caught a big one. Can you hear him flopping around the bathroom? That's how you can tell he's fresh. Uh, I love coming home. Divine dinner waiting. Thank you. I already tasted him. He's delicious. You'll love him. It smells delicious. Let's see. Oh, this fish. Hey, let me out of here. What are you doing? Come on, it is. Come on, this isn't fun. Oh, man. Hey, what the hell is this shit? Let me out, goddammit. I'll kill that crazy bitch. <laughs> Calm down. It's been a Minnesota standing. My little girl is a little like me. Go and we all forget it. Psycho bitch brought me here, hit me in the head, and locked me up. What the fuck? I mean, who the fuck does that? But you wanted to pluck her flowers. We will tell the blue man. Oh, so she's gonna play it like that, huh? All right. All right, just let me out. I want to get as far away from that crazy bitch as possible. Maybe I could use a drink. What the hell does that mean? Wait, why are you looking at me like that? Hey! Come here, I got a secret to tell you. Alright. Master? <laughs> So your skin <laughs> changes it. I took a sip and I'll throw them out. I'll clean up. You go outside and play. If this place stinks when I return, I'll rub your nose in it. Okay, let's check this email. Seven repaid favors. Stop by my apartment when you get a chance. I'll set you up. M. A. Don't touch the butter. Nine. A gambit. Business in Hollywood. McCoy. I haven't done this before. Especially with Lily being here, just 
grabbing fish and stuff. You better not talk. The prince has contacted you through email and asked you to convince food critic Tommy Flayton to give the cafe Cafaletti a bad review. So I got my first Hollywood quest. Hollywood. Ain't seen you here before. If I hadn't seen you, neither was Isaac. So that's your next stop. Look, a talking, walking signpost. Isaac's in the jewelry store at the end of the street. Consider yourself invited. Town loves me already. Consider yourself invited. I could have swore I told you to see the Baron. Yeah, that was a laugh. <laughs> Except my sense of humor is a little askew, you know? Conflict just cracks me the hell up. Uh, me too. I can use a good laugh. Ha. Yeah, yeah. We have a red spot. Let's see what's in here. The moon is out. Stop. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to Red Spot, home of the monster attack. 72 ounces of your favorite beverage, 39 cents. Blah, blah. You need help or something? What's the city hiding? Um, humility? Seriously, you want some orange juice or something to help you come down? Because, like, you're wigging. Uh, has the killer that walks these streets bloodied his hands again? Uh, this isn't going to turn out to be ironic, is it? You're not, like, a serial killer, are you? You have nothing to fear except for every other thing. Farewell. Are it's a huge store. Some money clip. This one left 25 bucks in the fridge. Why? So you can't buy anything? Uh, tell me more of the city. Always. You should come out and see my band, the Bowl of Cereal. We're playing tomorrow night at the crematorium. No cover for chicks. We're gonna ruin the place. Uh, are there other situations I must place myself in? Yeah, the Vesuvius rocks. They don't let me in. Vesuvius. Damn, the girl. It's like a midget smuggling ring. Uh, if you're in. I will enter the volcano later. Uh, hey, you know, you should really ask me about the special, you know? The special? What's so special? I'm glad you asked that, baby. Seeing as how you look trustworthy or something, I got the special where you buy some really expensive burrito tots or grapple juice, you get a free weapon of your choice, though. You <laughs> Here are my eyes. Show them your courtesy. Yes, he sells weapons. Nice. You know what? I'll buy that. And let's buy a sailor's hammer as well. Anything to sell. What we got? New armor. End of the alley. Isaac's inside. End of the alley. All right, let's go to the end of the alley. The ass pole. Fast buck. There's a lot of stores I need to visit. There's the club. Interesting uh, billboard. Jewelry. Actually, let's go in here. It's probably just a pawn shop. Won't know unless we give it a shot. Hello. Good evening, Neonate. Isaac Abrams. I've been expecting you. Oh, you're Isaac. Seems the wooden soldiers of the Camarilla shuffle in a little too often these nights. 
That baby-faced two-bit Prince LaCroix got something to say to me? Uh... Your message just spun me around and pointed me in your direction. Very courteous of you to stop by. All kindred that enter my domain are expected to introduce themselves. It may seem like an outdated formality, but it serves its purpose. Your purpose is a mystery to the lunatic in your office. It gives me the opportunity to personally welcome visitors to my domain. It also helps to establish an understanding in advance, so that there are no unfortunate accidents while they are in town. Is that a threat? Does the L.A. in the LaCroix stand for L.A.? Reach in Los Angeles far exceeds its grasp. Prince, don't make me laugh. Prince is a title, an outdated and absurd bit of jargon given to any fool that would scheme hard enough for it. I don't recognize it, and neither will any kindred under the protection of this barony. Hmm. Yeah, release your words. Now I release myself. Your words are fearsome. I don't fear them. Nor do I give a damn about his jackboot sycophants and court jesters. Let them all come to Hollywood. It would be a battle sequence worthy of Kurosawa. I'll be sure to pass on the invitation. By all means, please do. Now tell me, what brings you to Hollywood? And don't tell me you're just here to stroll the Walk of Fame. Where have all the sewer rats fled? The clan appreciates a good joke, doesn't it? Don't you find it the slightest bit hilarious that LaCroix would send you to ask me, of all people, where he could find the Nosferatu? Has it truly come to this? It has. What information are you willing to part with? I'm willing to give you my full cooperation, provided you pay proper tribute. Pay. For one who lives in a jewelry store, very greedy. Uh... Maybe the Nosferatu would come to complain when your blood floods the sewer. Pay? What I want is a simple exchange. Last week I paid for a certain item, a movie, and this evening a I movie. got an email saying that the seller is ready to deliver it. Unfortunately, he's eBay. become a bit paranoid all of a sudden. Won't meet me in person, won't drop it off, won't even answer his phone. Says he'll send the location of the pickup to a computer in the nearby internet cafe tonight. Internet cafe. <laughs> I'm your executioner. Absolutely not. <laughs> Hold that cowboy routine anywhere in my city and I'll personally take an interest in seeing you suffer. I had in mind something a bit more subtle. Now pay attention. Here. Go to the Ground Zero Internet Cafe. Look for a directory named Joseph K. And use the password Joseph K. Kafka. There'll be an Kafka. email in there that will specify a nearby location. Meet the contact, pick up the item, come back. Not too painful, right? Kafka. I will disappear and reappear. Item in hand, then my questions are answered. Excellent. In the meantime, consider yourself a welcome guest in my barony. Welcome to Hollywood. Well, thank you. I'm home. All right. It's a nice little setup you got here. Chinese inspired. So he wants us to go to an internet cafe. Oh my gosh, is that you? Ooh, Everyone was worried sick about you. When you didn't show up and, and didn't call and nobody knew anything about what happened to you, we thought you were dead. Are you okay? You know what? Never mind. We have to help you. Help yourself. Get away from here. Is it drugs? Something like that? Look, let me make a call. We'll, we'll get you some help. Nobody's judging you. They'll be happy to know you're alive. Who is this? Let me make a call. We'll get everybody together. We, we can talk. Maybe you'll remember something. The important thing is that they know that you're alive. 
Who is they? No, don't you remember me? Uh, this is my first expedition in this city. I've never encountered a native. I did, but I gotta say that. Pew. Come on, this is serious. I know it's you. Don't you recognize me? It's me. It's Samantha. What happened to you? Ha <laughs> ha, Samantha. It is you. I don't think you know what you're saying. We're gonna help you. You'll see. Everybody just wants to see you safe and back to your old self. Wait here. I I'm gonna make a call. But, uh, some crazy lady. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Okay. Okay, that'll do. We're gonna get to the cafe, which is, wait a minute, that's a lucky star. Okay, we're probably gonna do that next, so we'll start mud on instead of going to the cafe. What are you doing? Hey, oh, yeah, it's Sam. You'll never believe who I found. You know who disappeared a little while ago? Yeah, I know. I couldn't believe it either. She just walked by me in Hollywood. She's right here. Anyhow, something seems wrong. And I, I wondered if you could call a few people. And, well, she didn't recognize me at first. And I think it might be drugs. Or something. She needs our help. Well, maybe, maybe we could check her into a hospital or get the police involved. Well, we can't just leave her like this. She's all right. Call them, and I'll keep you. Nice Let conversation. She's alive, and we're gonna get her some help. She's got me confused with someone else. That was a masquerade violation. How? It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Well, we we'll rectify that next time. Why, why are you following me? <laughs> it's gonna be okay. Follow me down here, you will get, you will die. Come here. <laughs> Does it matter? Cause that's that. 